You know, for years, I've been wanting another Friday movie with Chris Tucker, but Chris Tucker said it ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. He's not doing no more Fridays. And, you know, plus, man, a lot of the main cast members are gone now, man. You know, John Witherspoon, Bernie Mac, uh, Debo, uh, Tiny Lister, Debo, Yvette Wilson, Michael Clark Duncan, LaWanda Page from the Sanford and Son, Ronaldo Ray. A lot of people are gone from that whole Friday franchise. But, you know, there was another guy that played in Next Friday named Roach. And y'all probably really know him from the movie Kids. That was a wild movie. Justin Pierce. He played Casper and, and Kids. You know, let's get into his story, right? Now, Justin Pierce was born March 21st, 1975 in London, England, but raised in Manhattan, New York. Now, growing up, he went to the PS7 in the Bronx for elementary school and JHS 141 in the Riverdale section of the Bronx for junior high school. Now, by the time he turned 15 years old, his parents, they had divorced, which it messed him up. It devastated him, man. Him and his mom ended up moving to Pennsylvania. But see, when they got to Pennsylvania, when they got there, him and his mom wasn't seeing eye to eye. And Justin began to act out. He started skipping school. He was getting in trouble. And all he did, he liked skateboarding all day, which was his favorite thing to do. He just loved to skate. After that, he moved out of his mom's house and moved back to New York, living with some of his skateboard friends in a basement that everybody used to call the dungeon. Now, Harold Hunter, another popular skater in the neighborhood at the time, he related to um, Justin because Harold's parents had both died as a result of drug addictions and he looked out for Justin and they became like best friends. You can say Harold was like the leader of their whole skateboarding crew and mostly they all just would just skateboard, hang out all day drinking, smoking, stealing and doing drugs. Now still a teen right, Justin ended up arrested for possession of marijuana and heroin after being caught in a police roadblock but see by him being a teen at that time the court released him back to his mom after that now back with his mom things still wasn't good it was still bad for him at home so that's when he went back to new york again and by the time he turned 19 years old he was pretty much homeless, but his passion was still skateboarding, though. He was a member of the original Zoo York skateboard team, which led to him being featured in multiple skateboarding videos, including a promotional video for Supreme New York Group. Now, one day while skateboarding in Washington Square Park in New York, he was discovered by a photographer slash movie director named Larry Clark who at the time was looking for some young teens to star in his movie titled Kids, which was about a bunch of skateboarding teens growing up in New York. And the movie script was actually written by an 18-year-old skateboarder named Harmony Corrin. Now see, Kids, that was a wild, wild movie at the time. I'm telling you, there is no way they would be able to put a movie like that out in this day and time. Look, back then in 1995, I thought the movie was real. I thought it was a real documentary because all the cast were kids from the streets who were like a tight knit group who skateboarded and hung out every day. It was about 16 to 40 members of kids from black, white, Hispanic, from every race all together, just hanging out. Now, the director, Larry Clark, right, he was 52 years old at the time, and a lot of people thought he was creepy for making a movie about sex, AIDS, drugs, violence with underage young teens, 
and he was doing naked scenes. But anyway, now Justin, he agreed to audition because he ain't had nothing to lose because he was homeless at the time, man. He ended up getting the role of Casper. He was a wild, he, he was a wild boy in real life. And look, he did cause a lot of problems on the set because they was doing real drugs while filming. Like one incident, right? They were shooting a scene at the legendary Tunnel nightclub, and Justin had got his wrist broken fighting some bouncers because he was stealing liquor from the bar. But check this though, but here's the crazy part about the movie, right? Now, when they finished making the movie Kids, right, the goal was to screen it at the Sundance Film Festival and try to sell it to the highest bidder. And guess who brought the rights to the movie? Guess who bought the rights? Harvey Weinstein. Wow. Because see, at the time, Harvey, he was a co-founder of the Miramax Films, but here's the problem he had. Miramax was owned by Disney, which would never agree to distribute a film about kids using drugs and having sex. So this is what Harvey Weinstein did. He started a whole new production company named Shining Excalibur Films just for the purpose of distributing the movie Kids. They wanted, they wanted this movie out bad for some reason, but... Plus, they didn't want it rated. They didn't want it rated NC-17, which stands for No Children Under 17 Could Watch It. They didn't want the movie rated at all. Now, when the movie was released right, it actually did good grossing over $20 million because it only took $1.5 million to make it. And a lot of the cast members didn't even make no money. All those teens that was in that movie... They didn't make no money. I think Justin Pierce said they might have gave him like a thousand dollars, which he was happy with at the time. Because, Like I said, he was homeless. Mainly, they just gave the kids marijuana on the set to smoke. And they was just happy with that. And Justin Pierce's role as Casper in the movie was so good. He won the Spirit of Independence Award for the best debut performance of the year. But see, that movie... It did actually launch the careers of a lot of actors like Chloe Sevigny, who played Jenny. She won an award for Best Supporting Female. It also launched the career of Rosario Dawson, who played Ruby, um, Leo Fitzpatrick, who played Telly, Harold Hunter, and many more. Now, after the success of the movie Kids Right, Justin started appearing in more promotional videos of skateboarding groups. He was part of the promotional video of the Supreme New York group titled Supreme Crew 96 and later featured in the Zoo York mixtape. But see, he knew he had to leave New York if he wanted to take his career to the next level. So that's when he moved to California. In 1997, he landed a role in the movie titled A Brother's Kiss as young Lex alongside Emmy Award winning actor John Leguizamo Rosie Perez was in that and Michael Rappaport that same year he landed a role in the HBO classic movie titled First Time Felon as Eddie with Omar Epps Tretch from Naughty by Nature and Delroy Lindo now that movie that's one of my favorite movies right there I'm, a, I'm definitely going to watch that tonight but see, also around that time, Justin said he was becoming more and more bored in California and really wasn't feeling Hollywood like that. He said in an interview, people in L.A. don't seem real to him because all they care about is having sex with movie stars. And he would go back to New York every so often to chill with his friends. But, you know, a lot of his friends that was real close to him say, he was still abusing drugs like for example right they was working on a movie out in pennsylvania and they say justin found a crystal meth dealer in philadelphia and would disappear for days from the set to binge on speed but you know he still would land plenty of roles in movies like pigeonhole king of the jungle 
He did a couple of episodes also on the show Malcolm in the Middle. Now, in 1999, Justin settled down and married stylist Gina Rizzo in Las Vegas. And they say they had a daughter together, but I don't know if that's true or not. After that, he landed one of his biggest roles ever, which was Roach in Ice Cube's Next Friday, which was released on January 12, 2000. And it grossed $14.5 million in its opening week. But on July 10th, 2000, Justin Pierce was found dead in his room at the Bellagio Hotel by Hotel Security. Now, the story goes, everybody from the next Friday movie, the cast members, film crew, everybody was in Las Vegas as part of an advertising campaign to help promote the movie. Plus, Justin was working on a video shoot for a fashion company also. And everybody was supposed to meet at the mall for signing autographs and greeting fans. And he didn't show up. That's when they sent security to check on him. And that's when they found him dead, hanging in his room. That's sad, man. That's crazy. But here's the crazy part. He left two suicide notes, but they weren't made public. Hmm. They found two suicide notes, though, but they were never made public. So as it stands, nobody knows why he took his own life. But I bet you, I bet you, them two notes he left explain everything. Now, a couple of his friends that knew him say he had been coping with personal problems and a lot of emotional pain in his life. Leo Fitzpatrick, who played Telly in the movie Kids, said he thinks his suicide was simply a drunken mistake and thinks that if he would have slept it off, he would have woke up the next day. Now, there were also rumors that his wife allegedly had cheated on him with another skater who was his friend. Hmm. And it's crazy because look, the year before, actor David Strickland from the TV show Suddenly Susan hanged himself at the Oasis Motel, also on the Las Vegas Strip. Wow, that's crazy. Now, Six years later, after Justin died, his best friend, Harold Hunter, died from a cocaine-induced heart attack. And close friends say Harold, he just turned to drugs and alcohol after failing to find acting work. Wow, that's sad, man. You know, and I heard they're supposed to do a documentary on the movie Kids for their anniversary. And I know they started a Kickstarter for it or something like that, but... You know, what's crazy is a lot of the cast members still talk about this movie and they say how hard it was after doing the movie because people thought the movie was real. They thought the movie was true and people would stereotype them. I thought it was real. That's crazy, man. Justin Pierce, man, was only 25 years old. R.I.P. Justin Pierce.